so much. Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today bringing you a little different video. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning right now. We're going to be going duck hunting and goose hunting. So a little a waterfowl hunt for us here. So I figured we'd kind of give you a little lowdown of what I use for it. So as you can see right here, we actually have the Benelli M2. So I am left-handed, so it's a left-handed one. And nice big safety on it, nice and easy, put a sling on it, just so when you're going out there, a little easier to actually get through the marsh and everything. Usually have a backpack for all my gear as well. And then where we are going is a small private marsh, so it's going to be pretty muddy, so the mosquitoes are going to be pretty rough for us there. So we're going to be bringing a thermocell out, so nice and easy. It's small and compact and then it'll work for the two guys that were going out so you just set it in between you and it kind of helps with all the mosquitoes and everything like that out there but you also need some bug spray on you too just because this is for one person once you put it next to two it works pretty well but not completely and then depending on what's coming in we have the three shot for the ducks or we got the bb loads for the geese so we don't really get too many geese in there but when we do we really want to you know make it count since we don't get too many so we'll kind of go for that and then also you have the feathers that you can get from the ducks that you can use for trapping so if you're more of a trapper not a hunter you can kind of use that stuff out of them as well so you're not wasting the the carcass or anything like that and then we just got my camera gear right there that I'll bring out as well and then we got our waders and our gun case and other than that that's pretty much it it's supposed to be right around I believe 70 to 80 degrees um, starting out at about 50 degrees so it's gonna be pretty hot and muggy I'm guessing so let's get at it when the dog starts freaking out. Oh, <laughs> we got three on that one, dude. You did? Yeah, three of them fell on the woods in the thing there. From your shot? From both of ours. Oof. I have no idea. Thank God they <laughs> but they're were right, moving they're towards right, us. Right in that corner. Oh, the far? No, like right, you know, where the tall cattails are? Correct. Then there's the short cattails? Yes. Right in that corner. Three of them, so. We got some. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, they're pretty hard to spot. Stay there. Oh, oh there's one. Told you. You're so smart. <laughs> see, the problem, the problem is I just didn't see him drop at all, so I had no idea what you were saying. Yeah, that one's got to be closer. So we got that boy. Oh. Oh. 
good mature blue wing. Blue. It's bigger than the other one. So the other one should be somewhat nearby. Yeah, I think right in here. Cause I think there's one right there for you. All right. So today we got the two blue wings that we got there and then we got the one woody that we got from the landing in the spread. See if I can wash them off a little bit. Fully plumed out. Gorgeous woody. Perfect. We'll grab all these. So as you guys can see, we're hunting quite the marsh here. And we have the three duck spread. Very minimal because we had to walk all the way over here so we didn't feel like carrying a bunch. And yeah, seems to be working so far. Had a couple pretty big flocks come through. They like to fly up in this channel here. So we have the main body channel that goes to a smaller body of water right over there. A lot of fun to walk through as you can see. All right, so we got one off cam here, sadly. GoPro wasn't running. It takes about two seconds for the GoPro to show up to actually record. Take a breath here. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, beautiful wood duck right there. Nice and plumed completely out. Another one to add. I literally just followed the feather trail in there. That one's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's a Snapchat video right there. Is that the bad sign? I don't think it really has a bad side. That is perfect. Holy buckets. I almost feel like I should mount it. Look at the orange on the back. The yep, it even has a little bit of that. I don't think it gets much more prime, to be honest. All right, so we're going to go ahead and see how Kenny actually cleans his duck. So right here, we just got a regular blue wing teal that we got this morning. So we'll just kind of go ahead and get started. So with teal, we usually just go ahead, pull some of the fur or feathers right off of the breast because we usually just breast them right out. Then you just make a nice easy incision right next to that bone right down the middle. That way you can pull that skin apart. Some people like to leave the skin on, um, but then you actually have to kind of put fire onto the skin in order to get all those pen feather feathers out. So we'd prefer just to take the skin off. And then you just pull it all the way lengthwise for the breast so it's all cleared up. And then you just follow the bone right down that middle and then just cut down along the rib cage there. And this one did get shot in the breast a little bit so as you can see it has a little a little bit of blood, but not too bad. <laughs> and 
boom and just like that you got two teal boobies right there ready to go just wash them up so we got all of those ducks all breasted out so we got a couple in here just kind of sitting in some water pulling out some of that blood and all that so we'll go ahead and actually wash these up and clean them up a little bit better than what they are but for right now what we're actually going to make is jalapeno poppers so one thing that people don't always get is nice crispy bacon when they do it and that's because they don't pre-cook the bacon a little bit so then if you keep it on too long it'll actually make it where the duck meat is actually overdone so what you actually do is you go ahead you cook it for just a little bit not too long just so it starts to firm up a little bit and that'll actually make it where it'll get done at the same time your meat does that way your meat's not dried out and also your bacon is nice and crispy as that's kind of what people like that's what i like so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go ahead and let those cook for a little bit have that going i'm gonna get these cleaned up and then we'll kind of get to the final product there so we got our half cooked bacon right here as you can tell it's just a little crispy around the edges right there and then we got the raw duck so we have a teal and then we have a wood duck right here and that kind of shows the difference in size and then we're gonna do jalapeno poppers but then we're also gonna just do bacon wrapped as well so what we'll actually do first is we'll put some Everglades seasoning all-purpose on them just a light dusting And then we'll also do Everglades heat, which just makes it a little hot. And we'll do both sides here. So I did soak these for a little bit in water, but then I also wanted to make sure that they're a little bit drier. That way they hold on to the seasoning better than if they're soaking wet. So what we'll actually do here is we'll use the teal on these poppers since they're actually so big. We'll put this one on here as well, like that. And we'll tuck this one in just like that. So that's a really big jalapeno, so it helps and then we'll start the bacon. And we'll wrap it up here. Perfect. And then you also actually want to use wet ones as well. That way it actually keeps it from burning. And since this is actually so big, we'll actually wrap it a little bit more. Make it nice and tight. Grab the second one. And keeping these wet helps it from burning, so that's good. And then I'll just go ahead and do the rest of them. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the grill pretty hot here just because I wanted it nice and clean. We'll actually turn it down because that's pretty hot. <laughs> so with the jalapeno poppers, what you actually want is the cream cheese is gonna run out pretty quickly. So what you wanna do is flip it on the side so it's upside down before the cream cheese starts melting. 
So you want the grill pretty hot to do what it can during that time. And then for the regular just bacon wrapped ones, it doesn't really matter. You can just toss them on just like that. So these really don't take too long, probably two to three minutes aside, and then they're pretty much ready to go. All right, guys, so as you can see, these are mostly done. These I'm just gonna let stand a little while as it is a whole duck breast, so it needs a little more time. So we'll actually take a look at this one here and see how well it's cooked. Perfect. So that's just how like I like it. So just a little bit of blood coming out, not too much. So probably a medium to medium well, I'm guessing, by the time it gets done cooling off. And yeah, these are all done. I'll probably give these another two minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see us make anything else, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Love to hear other recipes for duck and geese and stuff like that. And yeah. Thanks for watching.